Hey time travelers! So a thing happened to me and I thought I need to make a video called Things Falling Apart because it seems like everything's falling apart in my life. Like, I go to reach into the fridge and... Okay, it's not doing it. Like, for example, I go to reach into this fridge and it didn't do it. Like, for example, I go to reach into the fridge and the handle does that. Just comes off. Like, what the frick? And this handle snapped and towards the end of 2019. I think it's one of the, the reasons why my roommate left because honestly, his girlfriend was breaking stuff all over the house. She, she like puts her weight into everything, ripped some tile up off the floor and we had to fix it. And I was nice about it. I was like, oh, don't worry about it. Maybe it wasn't your fault, but it did happen when she was pushing on this. And funny thing is though, I put this tape on there and a sign that says do not use and that red X is like don't grab me to fix me and put me down because it'll break and I was thinking about putting some epoxy or whatever on there but I was worried it was just gonna break again and whatever so I just left it like how do you even get this thing off kind of thing like fuck it you know this when this came popped off it's like that and then it and then it just kind of did this and I realized there's a slide Hmm. Toss. Maybe this slides off. Let me tell you why, you know, because I wouldn't mind just opening the door as I put my, my fingers in the crack. Get your mind out of the gutter. Shut up! So if it just slides, what if I push this down? No. What if I pushed it up? There we go. And it's off. But onto more stuff falling apart in my life and breaking and stuff. There was another thing that was also a kitchen thing. The following scenes are reenactments and should not be attempted by unprofessionals. This is a thing with the cabinet door falling off thing. The first victim was me. Now, where the frick? Did oh, there it is. The screw fell. Well, let's put, them, put that over there, I guess. And then, other me had an experience. So thirsty! What the freak? Did a screw fall out? And the last victim of the cabinet thingy falling off stuff was Charlie. Oh god. What happened to the thingy what's it? What what thingy what's it? The cabinet. Oh, it's broken. Oh. I just reach around and go through the other door. Okay. Yeah. I achieved my drink though. All right, keep recording. I'm gonna grab the drill. Reminder, these scenes were reenacted in a safe and monitored environment. Charlie and no versions of Charlie from this universe or any other place in the multiverse were harmed in the reenacting of these scenes. This is the same batteries that my lawnmower weed eater abomination that's now broken takes. Yeah, is it doesn't look quite right, but it's the same brand, so whatever. Well, that's a generic battery. It has more amps or something. So it can be thick. So it could have more amps. No, so it can be thick. Wait, what do you mean thick? It's not a thicker battery, it just gives more power for longer. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard about it. I'm seeing if some of these screws are bigger than the old ones and go deeper. Yep, I'm holding this over. Yeah, it looks like I've got plenty of wood to go into. Yay, okay. Are you tapping focus and you actually got what I'm doing? All right, here goes something. Not nothing, something. It just keeps spinning in there. As long as it holds it. One of these, yeah, it's on the wood setting. Okay, that sounds good. Now let's put one in the bottom one, I guess. But these other ones. Oh, I should have used this. Fuck us! Yeah, I should have used that one. Durr. This nope. is the old ones which fell out, and this will bite into a little bit more wood. 
Oh, look at that. It was already re-drilled once. It's probably because it's 700 years old. Focus! I said, Frank, you can't freaking see anything if you don't focus! Now I'm gonna point with this screw. There's a hole there, and there's another hole behind there, which is where it was. This other bottom one. Does it want to stay? Yeah, it does. Well, we got one thing fixed in my life. Okay, the next thing that happened was my weed eater lawnmower abomination burning up. It, I was literally using it and this is me putting it in the basement after I bought the new one, the replacement. You see, it was going and then I was like, what's going on? Different battery maybe? I wasn't even thinking straight. I was just trying to mow the lawn, just put another battery and it goes and just stopped. And so I turned it around and looked at it, and there was smoke coming out of the little vent. So I burnt up the motor in it. But it's really my fault because I overuse it. It's what I like to mow the whole lawn with, so I get like lots of activity in my legs from all the walking and upper arm use, doing all that stuff. And it's also easy to store and, e and it's very lightweight to pick up. Maybe I should work out even more so that I can carry a lawnmower up and down the basement stairs. And this is me putting the old one in the black hole room in the basement so I don't have to look at it right now. I mean, so it's out of the way for now. All right, old weed eater, lawnmower abomination. Go into the black hole room until I decide what to do with you. Freaking cobwebs everywhere. And now a short break in this video to talk about my sponsors. Nobody. You are my sponsors. I'm still a small channel, so every click of the like button, every subscription, and especially the comments that's engaging in the video really helps out the channel a lot. So please, please, please do that. Do what you can. You know, click the subscribe button. Just decide how you want to get notifications from my channel if I upload new videos by clicking the bell and choosing one of those options. So the next thing I broke, well, it was acting bad for like a while, which my window AC wasn't working, and I got to thinking, I was like, hmm, maybe it's clogged up with bile matter on the thingy, what's it, um, heat exchanger thing. So I actually shot a video where I took it apart and fixed it, and it's working now. But, you know, like I said about subscribing, if you want to see how to fix a window AC, or you're just curious and want to watch me struggle and do it wrong until I figure out, that's what this channel's about. This channel's all about random tech things mostly and sci-fi stuff sometimes like other me turning into a karen and going grr, 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 and freaking me out and then yelling at me with the weird bob style haircut you click the card up here if you want to see that ridiculous nonsense a lot of people were telling me they liked it also some stuff is going on with my car now here's a new problem that just came up i can't use the air in my car until i fix a thing check it out if I turn the air on, which is even just a vent, which is down here, it makes this horrible sound. So here's this random picture off the internet so you could see where the blower motor goes, which is the thing I have to freaking replace. I changed it back in like 2013, but I didn't even have to because back then my heat and air wasn't working and I was going all over the place trying to fix it and it was just a fuse the whole freaking time. So I know how to do it. It's just a pain in the back to get to that thing. There's also another thing I'm dealing with. Let's see if we can hear it. Maybe heard that tiny little bit of a knock. It just happened once. Let's hear it again. That's bad. Something's knocking in the engine. Since I had this engine put in in 2010, I've had the harmonic balancer changed like five times. And it turns out, it's the balance on the back of the engine, not the front, where the harmonic balancer goes. And that means the engine has to be taken out, put to where the notch lines up with the other notch, and put back in. But the labor for that, from some mechanic, might cost more than just replacing the engine. I do remember how to change the blower motor from when I did it in 2013. And there's still not a video on YouTube about how to do that in a Nova, so I guess I'm obliged to shoot that video and have to edit that, but at least it'll be out there so 
people don't have to go through the struggles that I did to figure it out. But I recently went on a road trip to get some something fixed on my kit guitar that I was working on. And on the way back, my Nova was making that knocking sound really loud because usually it only happens if I get up to like 27,000 or 28... 27,000, 2700 or 2800 RPMs. But listen to this recording that I made. See if you can hear it. It can hear it a little bit better, I guess, because it, it's repeating. It keeps going. But I was thinking of maybe uh, selling some Ethereum so I'll get the engine fixed because I have been earning quite a bit of Ethereum this year. And by quite a bit, I mean like two from mining i guess it's worth it you know since i strive to show affordable and useful gadgets on this channel i've been trying to work in this week's tech thing into the video so this week's tech thing is a caliper from a brand called decorac decorac a decky decorash Dekairash. Anyways, this is my old one that I got from Harbor Freight and it's been pretty decent and I've done a lot of stuff with it, but it's plastic and it doesn't have fractions. And I stumbled on this one on the Amazons. Link in the description, obviously. And I'm gonna show you why I grabbed it because this like blew my mind when I saw this. I'm like, I need you in my life, Dekairik. Thing. If you don't know what a caliper is, it's something for measuring things. So let's turn this on. And right now it's on millimeters. So if I wanted to see how thick this battery was inside of this thing, 4.58 millimeters. And then you, you switch it to inches. And this is what inches normally looks like on a caliper, which is not all that helpful because it's decimal points. So let's like put this like at one and a half inches about and see, I got lucky. I stopped at about one and a half inches, 1.45, you know, but let's move it to fractions. Oops. One and 29 64 Well, can I land on one inch? That's pretty close. Yep. One inch. What about half an inch? Five eighths. So four eighths would be half an inch, so I'm not that far off. And nine sixteenths, so I'm looking for eight sixteenths, so I'm getting closer. Obviously, you wouldn't be measuring things and going, oh, I was trying to make 17 30 seconds. I'm glad I'm that that specific, exact, precise measurement. 30, 33 64, still over half an inch. 65 128, almost there. One half of an inch. But obviously, if something was already half of an inch, you'd be measuring it and you'd get to half of an inch. So this particular one is pretty heavy. Um, and it feels really sturdy. And it has like screw holes that you have to get at if you want to uh, change the battery out. You know, like a normal caliper, you roll it. And this is internal measuring, that's external measurings. And then you've got the depth measurement at the bottom, which is a thing that pokes out like that. So, yeah, I'm glad I got this now. And now, enjoy this random thing. This random thing comes from... Hey, what's up? Oh, oh, well, hey, other me. Are you doing an R vlog right now? Yeah. Random thing time. Cool. Okay. Storm? Storm tro is versus tropical storm? Jinx. Ah, you got me again. Yep. They need to make... X-Men movies are awesome. Yep. They need to make more X-Men movies. But this random thing actually comes from Deadpool on Facebook. That's not the real Deadpool, yeah. obviously. This is just somebody with the username Regenerative Degenerate. That's clever. Yeah. Yeah, it is clever. Hey, tell them about your Facebook page. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. So I have a Facebook page, and it's for this channel, and don't really get much engagement there. I still get some engagement on my YouTube videos. But the Facebook but, thing seems to have better notifications sometimes. Yeah, I was about to say that, actually. Jinx! <clears throat> not really, because I didn't... It's not a jinx. Okay. Shut up! You can go here and hit like 
so that you can get notifications in your Facebook for when I upload videos because I always put links here and tell you a little bit about the video so you can be watching your feed on Facebook and be scrolling and go, hmm, not that video, but hmm, oh, I want to see that one. This looks interesting based off of the blobby blahs that I see right there. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's actually good info. Well, this week's dad joke comes from Reddit. Really? Good. Charlie and your dad didn't have one? No, they didn't. Again, they're um, really dropping the ball. Hey, it's zooming here. in. It, it won't zoom. Oh. oh, there it goes. From my 11 year old, what do you do when a chemist is sick? If you can't helium and you can't cure him, then you might as well bury him. Wait, wait, helium's a gas and barium's a metal, I think. What's curium? I don't know. Hmm, let's see. What you is that curium? What's this? The chemical element of atomic number 96, a radioactive metal yes. on the acid actinide ac series. Curium does not occur naturally and was first made by bombarding plutonium with helium ions. Sounds like Time Lord science. N not really. It's very spacey wasty. Humans made it. Okay. Well, is it time for the awkward end screen? Yep, it's awkward end screen time. All right, say something to make me feel uncomfortable, I guess. No, I'm not going to try to make you feel uncomfortable for this end screen because I actually already have some outtakes from this video okay. that I was going to use well, in the end screen. I guess that's awkward. Well, I guess it is awkward. But here you go. Here's the end screen thing. Bye, peeps. Cheap poor person fridge has cheap poor person handles. You don't need the handles because you can just put your finger in the crack. You're not supposed to talk. 